there's been a large demand and surge over the years in, uh, in awareness, in uh, bullying, uh, especially in schools, in the younger grades and in the older grades. It's a way that we can raise an awareness in, in a fun manner with the storyline, uh, which revolves around my childhood growing up uh, being bullied. It was really engaging for the students and they were very involved uh, throughout the whole thing, which is always what you want. Hey, so my name is Lucy Parmigiano. I'm the principal at St. Charles Garnier Catholic Elementary School. And what a perfect day to have you here, Colby. It's our launch to our Anti-Bullying Awareness Week. And it was perfect taking the oath with the intermediate students, the main messages of the show. The magic was spectacular. However, the message was the most important and key for all of our students to hear. Bullying is unacceptable, it hurts, it hurts deep. Yes, you can apologize like you show in your, in your magic show, but it stays with people and that message was well heard. The spirit of erasing bullying, making it disappear, and we all win the lottery when that happens was very clear and powerfully done through the trick of magic with the adults, so thank you. The show was phenomenal. I have never in my 29 years of education seen that many students engaged and paying attention right from the kindergarten, junior kindergarten students right up to grade six. It was phenomenal. The language that was yeah. used, totally age appropriate. Yeah. I, the magic, mind blowing. Yeah. I'm Miss Colleen Harrison, I'm the principal at Burroughs Hall. Very, very impressed. I have to say in my 31 years of being a teacher, vice principal and principal, it was the best show that I have ever, ever, ever witnessed. The children were engaged 150%. They enjoyed it so much, and I'm letting you know that every school needs this. This was the best presentation I've ever seen at any school. Hi, my name is Patty Catanacci, and I'm the principal of St. Rene Goupil, St. Luke. The show was spectacular. It was a great way to entertain the students, and a wonderful message was shared with them as well. I think that the show had a great balance between educating the students about the impacts of bullying and at the same time entertaining them with the magic tricks. Bullying doesn't occur just after one incident, that it would require multiple incidents before it's actually bullying. That was a very clear message that came through and I think that helps students distinguish the difference between bullying and someone just bothering them. I can't say enough. I should have had him here seven years ago. My name is May Halaby, I'm the principal at Highland Creek Public School. The anti-bullying message was uh, sent to the students in between to help them understand that they have to think before they act. Uh, my name is Linda Nardia, I'm the principal at Pleasant View Middle School in Toronto. Excellent, it was outstanding in terms of engaging the students and the message was very clear. The interaction with the students was fantastic. So I think it was just impeccably done. The students were entertained, but when it came to the serious part, the educational piece, they were aware that bullying is not a joke. It's not something to be left at. It is serious. I'm going to tell you, I've been at St. Ignatius for 16 years, and this is probably the best presentation I've seen. Hi, I'm Uri Geller. Now listen guys, I've just seen Kobe, the magic of Kobe. If you want to be amazed and most important, entertained, I recommend you book Kobe right now. Lots of love to you all. I would recommend the show to other schools. Or... I would recommend the show to other schools. I would certainly recommend the Kobe's Magic Show to uh, other schools. I would recommend the magic of Kobe. I would most definitely recommend it.